Hi folks, just a quick heads up before the video starts. Hellblade Sunua's Sacrifice features both visual and oral hallucinations, which are a part of certain mental illnesses featured in the game. Just thought I'd give you a heads up about that in advance, in case that's the kind of thing you might find a little disturbing. Okay, thanks. Enjoy the video. Hello folks and welcome back to another How About We Play? I'm still not called them Let's Plays, even though that's essentially what they are. But um, for better or for worse I <laughs> associate let, Let's Plays with, um, you know, died here <laughs> and jump scares. Which is, is just not me. So, anyway, this is Hellblade, Sunua's Sacrifice. A game I've heard loads about. Read a good bit about. Hopefully not too much. Um, it's a game that, as you might have seen in the opening warning, or information piece, it's a game that attempts to tackle some subjects, such as mental illness. Yeah. It's been done before in a game. It's still a brave topic. It's a topic that I'm in no way qualified to talk about properly, so I won't be pretending that's the case uh, during the game. I'm just going to try and enjoy the experience. But certainly what is interesting is that I can tell you the game is set in the Viking era. I probably should have looked up the exact time because that's a, that's a large span of time. But it is set certainly in a time that we don't really associate or think about maybe mel mental illness as being an issue or a thing that would have occurred, right? You know, you watch Game of Thrones or Vikings or any of those kind of things and what do you think? You think it's a little bit primitive, it's warlike and life was tough, but hey, life was tough and these were human beings and why wouldn't they have suffered or um, experienced the same things that we do? post-traumatic stress disorder or other mental illnesses I guess they did so let's take a look is my controller working it is I did some research on what was best uh, mouse and keyboard or controller and nobody really had a consensus <laughs> so it seems like a controller type of a game so let's try that I had a quick look just to record some of the opening sequence as well but this is still going to be fresh to me quick look at the options controls let's see sorry I have a new microphone so all my spluttering you can probably <laughs> you can probably hear let's turn down the gain a bit let's learn as we go professional that's how we are here at good guys gaming professional okay right trigger focus left button run interact is A. Fast strike is X. Heavy strike Y. Okay. Melee B. Fine, fine. We'll learn as we go. I'm sure there's an awesome tutorial. Here we go. Without further ado. Hellblade. Sinua's Sacrifice. Thank you. 
journey deep into darkness. There will be no more stories after this one. culture of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Oh, that's not quite true. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them just like it changed her. Can you see them? See it too. You promised you could. Yes. It is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. The place the Northmen call hell. Turn back. Go back. Go back. It's not safe. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. It's not safe. Can you see them? Can you see them? They're going to do that to you. They're watching. Stop. Can you feel them watching? They're watching her. What is she thinking? I can tell you. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it, Turn away. But it's always there, just out of sight, where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. she's brave to go on this journey on her own but it isn't bravery that drives her bravery only means something to those afraid of death then it was fear runs far far deeper What is she looking at? What is she leaving behind? I know what 
No going back. You can't do it. If anyone pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering, there's nothing to go back to and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Wow. If you didn't listen to that section with headphones, if possible, I want you to go back right to the start of the river scene, grab some headphones, they don't have to be fancy. Definitely not silly surround sound headphones, just go get a set of headphones, good stereo headphones, or even a pair from your, from your phone, plug them in and listen to that whole section again. Because I will tell you something that was absolutely masterful use of stereo sound it's something can we, we, we kind of take for granted and it also created an experience uh, yeah that I would have some experience with as well so you may you may have noticed that Sinir was experiencing um, what I think sounded like you know vo voices in her head uh, telling her stuff that she was she shouldn't go ahead, she's going to fail, things are going to go wrong. And these are symptoms of, um, well, a few mental illnesses. And ones I've actually done some research on myself, and it was done in an absolutely amazing way. Again, I don't want to go on about stuff that I don't really know about, but seeing the expressions on her face when she heard the voices, when they said, oh, she's heard us. She seemed determined, but not everybody can be that determined with these kind of things. So, that was really cool. Very well done. Go back and listen with headphones if you can. In fact, as recommended at the start of the game, the whole thing should be played with headphones. Okay, well, let's, let's take a look. Focus. Look closer. Look. Use your eyes. Why isn't she looking closer? Do she not forget closer. my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. Cool, so no instruction on what to do, but I knew from looking at the tutorial it was the right trigger to zoom in and look. Left trigger was... let's do some tests here. None of the other buttons are working yet. I guess they're not enabled. So let's explore this absolutely beautifully crafted world. Also a very ominous and foreboding place. I cannot tell you, again, if you still haven't got headphones, go get headphones. There are voices in each ear of my head sometimes telling me to turn back. You, you can't do this, turn back. Um, and it's incredibly distracting. Darkness is coming. 
grind for life. Hunger for life. Like a pack of wolves in the heart. But she's not stopping. Knives across which lies the halls of hell, the place they call Hellheim. There's no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved. Dillian. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I'll say it again. Wow. These voices, in case you're still not using headphones for some reason, they don't just sound like they're coming from the headphones on my ears. They sound like they're coming from behind me, in front of me, above me, uh, in inside of my head. It's hard to even keep the commentary going. Okay, let's try to do what we need to do while these voices tell us that we can't do it. <laughs> We're not going to be able to do it. I guess this is the way we need to go up here. Oh, but first we've got a stone thingy. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of Earth, Harvest, Wind, and Sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire, the Northmen, speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of Earth, Harvest, Wind, and Sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel. Okay. Sounds like a blast. Sorry, I thought I could let go of the trigger and still have the narration, but that's that's why you're here to start and then hear it again. Okay. 
Okay, your, your standard plank across the cliff. No problem. Amazing how quickly you actually become used to the the voices. Although they're you can be used to them, but they're always there. <laughs> Beginning to pick out different personalities in those voices as well. Okay. What have we got here? Again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye, and you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. Look really clearly. Focus, Emma. Focus. Focus, and you'll see. What happens if you focus? I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. Okay, so we need another of those shapes. Looks looks like an M. Oh boy! Oh, is that it? Those voices don't help you to try and succeed, do they? Hmm, <laughs> so I need two triangles. It's not behind me now. Oh, what's Is it just this one again? I, I guess not. Isn't this it? Okay, that's definitely not it. There is, there is. What do I do? Do I need. Wait a minute. Do I need to listen to the voices? It's, she said. One of the voices said, It's just there, can't you, can't you see it? Okay. 
What the heck am I supposed to do? But they haven't told me what I actually need to do. Hmm. Except to find another one of these one of these symbols. Is it here? Let's step back from this gate and <laughs> look at what we're actually supposed to do. So some some of those symbols are brighter than others. Is that something? No, I don't think so. Okay, I don't know. Let's step back and try and look at this gate for a moment. Okay, so... When we hold a trigger, we've got this symbol, and that is the symbol right in the center of the gate, but what do we actually do with it? What do we actually do with it? Hmm... Oh, look, it's, there it is below me. There it is below me. It's kind of just... I, I, I can see it right there at the bottom right of the screen. What are you actually supposed to do, though? Oh, my God, what are you supposed to do? Did you hear that? One of the voices said something like something about the roof. Oh, wait a second. I've been spending this whole time focusing on the freaking gate. The gate just gave me the symbol to look for. I obviously have to. <sighs> okay. I got focused on the gate. I got focused on the gate. Oh. They're everywhere. They are everywhere. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Look towards the gate. And the gate will Alright. Definitely we got this now. We know what to do. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. I mean, when they said find a symbol and it was loads of... I spent six years enslaved in hell. But I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listened. When everyone else laughed. My people paid the heavy price. Carry my stories with you. And together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Yeah, I was going to say that they asked me to find a symbol, but there was tons of them all over the gate. Kind of clever, though, that it kept me looking for a while for it. Another voice joins us. She once tried to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. But what good is that? When we are always here. So 
sounded like one of those different voices. Um, just trying to be, become dominant or make the others go away. Very true. The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side, and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the All Father cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and self slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed. And with her, you must bargain. Okay, the story goes on. I think this is definitely worthy of some kind of extra warning at the start, which I'll, I'll record and add in. Uh, because... His voice could actually be pretty, pretty disturbing to somebody. Okay, onward. This was a Dark Souls game. I expect a big fat old boss to appear. Oh, maybe that's what's gonna happen. Oh god. Voices are becoming more encouraging. Shh. And she seems to have control of them. Someone's here. Okay, okay. We've no advice on how to fight. Remember 
Can't do anything to him. Behind you. has taken hold it will spread towards her head the seed of the soul until there is nothing left of her <laughs> all of her suffering will have been for nothing it's just a matter of time Okay, interesting health and combat system. <laughs> okay, so it's... When it's over, it's over. No returns, no, I guess... No continues? The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat... The dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. So did I lose there? That fight? But for now at least she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. Tough lady. are not so helpful anymore. I don't think this is a lady who's too scared. So you can just shut the fudge up, voice. The Northmen say that in the beginning there was nothing but darkness. Bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice, and the first giant was born, and was named Emir. The ice continued to drip, and the power of the void gave life to it, and it became a cow whose milk fed the giant. That's right, a cow, but you weren't expecting that. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that, or the or or the comedy. This just doesn't seem like a, you know, a very uh, comedy based environment. What's this? Valraven, a 
ancestor of the seers and master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. Oh shit. Follow the path to Valravan and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. Okay, so this way first. Then, uh. Then good old Helheim, huh? But that will have to be in the next episode. We are 40 minutes in, and I think this is the point to take a break. The next episode will be out next week. Where are we today? Friday. So, yeah, be out next Friday. At which time, I hope you'll join me and Senua for the next chapter in Hellblade. Senua's Sacrifice. When this lady will be kicking ass. Thanks for joining, folks. See you in the next episode.